Hi there, this is Josh McDonald. This is my monologue of Jake from The Lie of the Mind for your film, The Guardian. She was going to these goddamn rehearsals every day. Every single fucking day. And I would hardly ever see her. Though I saw enough. And believe me, bro, I saw enough to know something was going on. And I'm no fucking dummy. Because it doesn't even take much to put it together. And she started dressing more and more skimpy every time she went out. And she started to put on more and more smells, oils, and she always oiled herself up even before she went out, and the smell would just wake me up because it was, it was coconut, butterscotch, or some goddamn thing, sweet stuff, <laughs> hell, you'd have thought she was an ice cream sundae. As I would lie down in bed pretending to be asleep, I would just watch her oil herself up. And the way she did it, it was, it was almost like a dream. A dream is that someone else was touching her. Not me, and never me, someone else! It was some guy, I don't know, some actor jerk, Frankie. And I could tell she was getting herself ready for him right away. It was, it just got worse and worse. And finally, when I called her out on it, she denied it flat. And I knew she was lying too. I mean, the way she cast it out so lightly and treated it like it was goddamn nothing. And you know what? She tried to tell me that it was all in my head. Some stupid idea that I cooked up inside my fucking head. And it had nothing to do with her, she said. And she made me believe that I was the one that was going crazy. I mean, she's all innocent, and I'm fucking crazy! And so I told her, laid it down on the goddamn line to her, square business, bro. I say to her, Beth, no more high heels. Do not wear those spiky high heels to rehearsals again. No more of that stupid shit! And she laughed right to my goddamn face. She laughed! And she kept putting the fucking oils back on because she said it fell right from the part and made her feel more like a goddamn character. And then I told her she didn't wear a goddamn bra and she paid no fucking attention to that either. And you could see right clean through that goddamn blouse, Frankie. I mean, just right clean through it. And the worst part of it all she never wore fucking underpants. And that is what really got to me. No fucking underpants. Because you could see everything. 